In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to create this cool overlapping on scroll animation in Figma. You can use it for uh, service cards or any other content where you want to show the cards that are overlapping each other. Uh, you can use this for the websites uh, designs or application designs. It doesn't matter. My name is Sergey, and without further ado, let's go designing. I have some assets prepared already. I have colors and I have some texts that we are going to be using. So let's create our first card. We'll need, this is going to be our title. And for the card, we'll need these three options. So first of all, I want to change the size of the text. Let's put 80. This one will leave the same. And for the price, or we'll have it for example 100 and let's change fonts to clash display and let's make it bold here clash display bold as well and now let's create an auto layout i select two layers and i press shift a to create auto layout and here I want to use about 40 for the gap between them. And now let's create another outer layout. So I select both the, the title of the service and the price. And I press Shift A, Shift A again. And here I will use, for example, 120 or, oops, uh, or 100. Let's make it 100. So this is fine. Also, I'll need to create a, an arrow that will animate. And let's create an arrow. Make it about 50. And let's make it 4 pixels wide for the stroke. And let's use the round edge. Now let's make it black. And let's create a circle. So I select ellipse, I hold shift, and I want to have it 160. Here I select the circle, I remove fill, I add stroke, four, and this is gonna be my button. Now I'll group it. So I press Command G to group it. And now I select this frame with this. Uh, oh, actually, we'll make a, a button out of this. So uh, let's make another um, copy. And here I will turn this. Oh, actually, let's turn this way. Yep, like this on the second one. Now I select both of them. And I select Create Component Set. So these are going to be my two variants. I'm not going to rename them right now. So uh, let's just call it button or arrow. Arrow button. And here I'll go to prototype and I'll move the arrow to the second variant and here i'll select while hovering and here i'll select smart animation yep and 30 oh, 300 is fine now i select my first variant i hold option move this variant here to make a copy and now i select this frame this auto layout with content and i select the button here and I create another outer layout. And here I'll need to add paddings. So my left and right padding will be 100. And top and bottom will be 100 as well. Now I'll need to make round corners. So I select this frame. And I'll make them round about 120. Now I select the frame and I'll fill it with color. And the first color will be this blue. Now I'll make a copy. 
oh actually no uh, <laughs> uh, I need to make another frame and my frame is gonna be one uh, 12 uh, 1280 by uh, 1024 and I drop in this hard layout inside and I'll move it this way so I'll, I'll enlarge it and here for the paddings I'll use auto like this so this is gonna be my first uh, card but we'll need to make it a little bit larger so the first one is gonna be uh, 800 like this so this is gonna be our first card and now we'll need to remove the background let's rename this so we know so it's gonna be uh, card one like this and this one's gonna be card two and this one's going to be card three and now i'll change the background of this one so i select the outer layout and i press i and now i select the color like this and here i select the card again and make this color now i select again the color of uh, the the outer layout i go down here to selection colors i press the black one i choose this green color that they're used that is used in the card and to make it like this darker like to make the the content a little bit darker so it's not black same thing here i select the card i select black i select the color that is used in the card and make it darker like this and for this one the same thing I select this blue and make it darker like that now i change the text here so this is going to be our corporate and we'll change the price to three thousand and this is going to be not fixed it's going to be hug content and here we'll use e-commerce And here the price is going to be 5,000, for example. And this one is going to be hook contents as well. Yep. Now we'll need to make different sizes of these cards. So since this one is 800, this one is going to be 700, and this one is going to be 600. And now we need to place them on the bottom of the frame like this and now we'll remove the background remove the background now we'll make a frame the actual landing page frame so i select the frame and i'll make it 1440 by 400 like this also we'll need to make a um, top text uh, the hero text but before that I select the frame and I'll use this color for the background and now I can place this text here again I'll use clash bold and about 120 for the size and let's make it in the center like this oh let's use actually 100 I think now it's better and let's make it this way all right and now i want to use this card or oh, this um, this button but i'm gonna turn it around and i'm gonna detach instance instance because i don't want to use this actual component but i want to have this as an element um in my in my uh, design and maybe something like this 
Uh, and now I'll need to make a button that's going to be on the bottom, the call to action button. Here we'll change it to again clash and we'll use bold and we'll use all caps and also I want to use uh, cap height to baseline and now I press shift A to make a outer layout but before that I'll need to change the size of the text to 80 like this and I'll use about 100 oh actually it's still big let's use 80 and here I'll use 40 and now I'll add a stroke 8 pixels make it round and this is gonna be my button actually let's try 80 yeah, as well so this is good we're not going to be making any uh, animation here right now, maybe in some other video. Okay, so we have this landing page, so let's rename it to main, for example. And now we need to actually create uh, this on scroll animation that we're going to be having uh, for this, um, for this uh, landing page. So what we need to do, we need to place these cards um, inside of a frame but we need to make another frame not this one so we make another frame and this one is gonna be um, 1280 so it's a little bit smaller like this or actually it doesn't matter it can be the same size yeah, it can be the same size and for the height let's make it 3000 now we put the first um, the first card inside like this. Now we put the second one, oops, second one and third one over here. We select, oops, hold on. Yeah, we need to put the card inside like this. Now we select all of these cards. We align them to the center and let's align them to the top like this so this is going to be our sort of like final final stage right uh, and now we need to move them a little bit uh, so what we need to do we need to move them from the top for 1000 and for the second card that's why we need the name so it's going to be easier for us the second card will be one 50 oh 15 1500 and the third card will be 2000 yeah like this and let's make it this a little bit larger so yeah like this so it's exactly ends on the on the last card all right so this is fine we'll need to remove the background uh, and let's call this, uh, for example, uh, scroll cards. And we'll need to put them inside of these of the frame here and align it to the top. So when we go to a preview, here is the preview so we scroll down and we see the cards like this so we don't see any animation so we just see the cards and the call to action button here so now the most interesting part of the video we need to select uh, the card let's close them like this in the, in the layers so we select the card the first one we go to prototype and here we'll need to use sticky stop at the ed top edge and we use the same thing for the other cards and since they are inside of the frame so we have a special frame for for these cards not the, the this mm, this frame uh, not the landing page frame they will stop at the top when we scroll down and let's see how it looks so I scroll down and I see 
the cool animation of the cards now and also I have this pretty cool animation of the button and when I scroll up I again see the cards they're sort of opening and going the other way and this one is is overlapping and we go to order now button so just to make it a little bit more interesting uh, let's go to the first card to the first um, outer layout card and he, you see the the size of the frame is uh, 1280 let's make it 1240 so it's a little bit smaller right and place it right in the center again align it to the center of the frame where it's located now select the second uh, card and here we'll use 1260 and the last one is going to be 1280 but this one again should be placed in the center so we align it to the center so they're kind of like a little bit different in size so when we play it again you see they're overlapping and they're kind of a little bit different in size I think this looks more interesting and uh, adds dimension and adds um, volume to it so looks like this that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video and i hope it was useful for you so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you like it also in the comments below please write topics that you're interested in and if you have any questions about figma or framer also don't forget to follow me on linkedin and x or twitter uh, and uh, my name is sergey and i'll see you in the next one bye bye